All right, so this is going to be an updated tutorial on 14 skip, aka ship skip, aka whatever you want to call it. Um, Panzer Deer um, made a tutorial on this when it just like was found, but there have been a few optimizations that make it a lot easier and a lot like more consistent. Um, and huge credit to Arams for showing me this, uh, this setup. Like he. He made the setup, especially in the second part that I'm going to show. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to make it simpler for people who are trying it out and make it more consistent. So yeah, let's start. So I'm going to start from research checkpoint. And when we're climbing this ladder, um, something about this game is whenever you're climbing like straight up something, um, it's faster if you don't point your st left stick up and press X. It's faster if you just press X by itself. Um, so neutral jumps. That's what we call neutral jumps. Is if when you're climbing something and just press X by itself. So you want a neutral jump three times, and then for the last one, if you neutral jump, you you climb up slowly like that, and then you climb up slowly again. So what you want to do is neutral jump three times, then hold your stick up and he'll climb up fast. Because if you do neutral jump the whole time, he won't do that. He'll uh, be a bit slow on the last climb. So yeah, so three neutral jumps. And then point your uh, stick up for the last bit. And then you want to go back as quickly. So the whole point of this is to go get get to the setup as quickly as possible. So you can you can shoot as much as you want. By the way, um, it doesn't matter how much ammo you have; it'll reset to thirty when you do chapter fifteen. So for speed run, uh, thinking about the speed run, it really doesn't matter if you use up all your ammo. I just like to do the reload thing. Um, just a personal thing, I guess uh but here so this air conditioner is the setup mac found for uh ship skip and we're still going to use this air conditioner there might be a better i i honestly haven't looked around to see if there's if there's anything better on uh, myself but we're just going to keep going with this um so my setup for this air conditioner is whenever the light the shadow reaches one and a half so i count this as one and this is like half a vent thing whenever it reaches one and a half visually that's when i uh hold forward and press x against it so visually whenever this shadow reaches one and a half whenever you're uh first coming here like it has to be whenever you're first coming here you can't wait because the the waves are random the waves are randomized that's a whole thing like in the in, there's a documentary about like how they made this level the waves are randomized um after a long time until you die or restart checkpoint so whenever you restart checkpoint it's consistent but like after a long time if you stay still and don't play the game these waves are completely random which is kind of cool but it's not consistent for a speed run but besides the point so we're gonna put all that together so we're gonna wait for the shadow to reach that one and a half point that i talked about like that and then Press photo mode as soon as your feet plant the ground. And then you should be able to get up here. Uh, that works 90% of the time for me. Like, I'll say 90 flat. Um, sometimes that just doesn't work. Also, another thing I've noticed is if you jump on the right side of the air conditioner, or whatever that thing is, uh, it's more likely to not work. So if you jump like right here. It still worked there, but I, from my experience, it seems like it's less likely to work. That might be wrong. I might have just messed up the few times that that happened. It might be like a false positive, I guess. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that part should be like self-explanatory. Like I like the the visual cue is one and a half vents. Whenever the shadow passes that one and a half mark, that's when you like uh go forward and press X. Like visually. And then you see that, and then you go forward and press X. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but yeah. Now, this part. Uh, this is the part that Aram showed me. 
and made this incredibly consistent. This part, like, you just get whatever you get and then you just deal with it. But what Aram's showed me is pretty consistent. So I wanted to make that into a video and, like, talk about it completely. So whenever you, uh, like, clip up here, you're going to rush immediately to this part. Because the waves are still, um, the waves still matter. We're going to use photo mode again and the waves still matter. They're still consistent from the research checkpoint. So we don't want to wait too long for them to like be a bit weird. Uh, so we want to rush immediately to this spot. And this exact spot where I'm pointing is what Aaron showed me and works very well. And whenever we use photo mode and we exit it, we're going to uh, zoom out, obviously. Uh, this is not going to work, by the way. Uh, this is just to show it. Whenever we're zoomed out and we exit photo mode, we're going to hold X for Nate to jump. And then as soon as he, like, plants his feet, uh, that's when we're going to pause again. That's when we're going to um, use photo mode again. And then we're going to point straight up. Uh, this won't work, obviously, right now, because, like I said, the waves are what makes this skip work. The wave patterns. And from research checkpoint, these waves are consistent. So that's what we take advantage of for this skip. Um, so going back here, so three neutral jumps, go forward, uh, press X and then go back here. Again, that should work like all the time. So here, photo mode here, we're going to despawn the area. Just like that. You have to put, put it over the fence. We're going to exit photo mode, but as you're pressing yes to exit photo mode, hold X for him to like do a jumping animation. And as soon as he plants his feet, immediately plant your camera up. I This isn't part of Aram's setup, but this is what worked best for me. Like it, this, this is what always works. And point it so like Nate is facing you, but the camera's straight up. And you, have, you just have to wait for these object, objects to spawn. And you should always land here. Like somewhere, somewhere in the range of here is what I've seen. And that's good enough. That's literally good enough. And then from here, you're going to roll back, take cover here, launch to the end. That's literally the whole skip. Um, so let's put it all together. You're going to roll back right uh, to that cover launch spot and then um, launch to the end. This is kind of... Oh, I did that too early. Should still work. Yeah, we have to wait for the objects to spawn in, then... I didn't talk about this, but you have to wait for the objects to spawn in, then uh, leave photo mode. You can't do it immediately. You should land here, and then launch at the end. Let's do it uh, one more time from the start. From the very start. I'm not the best at menuing, nor that. I, yeah, see, I messed up there somehow. So we have to kind of rush to this spot. That should still work. Yeah. So as soon as he plants his feet, point your camera up. And as soon as the object spawn in, leave photo mode and then roll back right. Well, more right than back right, but. And then launch at the end. And that's 14 skip. And then from here, you have to kill everyone with a pistol. There are uh, Cal 7s that you can pick up, but they're kind of out of the way. I feel like it's faster to just pick up this ammo. So. Throw a grenade there. Uh, make this guy weak. Hopefully that. Yeah, this part still could use some optimization, like considering 14 skip, but um, that's a glitch. I hate that. That's my least favorite glitch in this game. 
But yeah, after that, you just do this whole fight with Pistol. It should still be faster, obviously, considering we save a minute with the skip. Um, you could pick up a Cal 7. That'll lose you about, like, I don't know, 3 seconds, 3-4 three, seconds to make this fight faster or about even, I, I think. But, um, yeah. And after this, you just do Chapter 15 normally. There's no skip for Chapter 15 as of now. Um, there may be in the future. But, yeah. Um, that's... 14 skip slash ship skip updated tutorial. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out, make this more consistent. Um, the goal of this tutorial is that every single time you get the same exact thing. Like, there are no variations anymore. You just get the same exact thing every single time. Um, and I hope this tutorial helped out with that. And yeah, that's it.